The 34th Guam Youth Congress is hereby called to order. Will all representatives please rise for the prayer? Representative Fortuno, you are recognized. Madam Speaker, let us all bow our heads in prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, as we gather in this esteemed chamber for the April session of the 34th Guam Youth Congress, we seek your guidance and wisdom. Grant us the strength to uphold the values of justice, integrity, and compassion as you deliberate on matters crucial to the well-being of our youth and the future of our island. May our discussions be filled with respect and understanding as we strive to represent the voices of our peers and make decisions that will positively impact our community. Bless each member of this Youth Congress with clarity of thought and a spirit of cooperation that we may work together harmoniously towards a shared goal. Guide our minds and hearts so that our actions may be just and our decisions wise. Help us to always remember the responsibility we carry and the trust we placed that is placed in us by the youth of Guam. In your infinite wisdom, grant us the courage to face the challenges and the humility to seek guidance when we need. We offer this prayer with humility and gratitude, trusting in your guidance as we fulfill our duties as members of the Guam Youth Congress. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Sidious Masi, Representative Fortuno, now to recognize Representative Atoigui for the national anthem and Guam hymn. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket regular the bombs bursting in the flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land and of the free and the home of the Chamoru Purita Nota Kanta Matu Nonia Gitoru Ilu God Padari Honra Padari Gloria Abiva Yes Lasse Pada Padari honra, padari gloria, abiva es la sed para utoru y tempu y paz, para hita zanini langen aben di shon. Contrapili gru na fat sofu hem zuus pertehi et langwam. Contrapili gru na fat sofu hem zuus pertehi et langwam. Susan Osmasi, you may all be seated.
Thank you. And now for Representative Karasoma to lead us in the Interpressi. Kinanimas takulu gihina soku. Imas takulum gi kura sonhu. Zani mas figu nani nasen yahu. Hu a fersen maisazu. Padabai putehi. Zanhu defendi. Ihi nenghi. I kotura. I lenguahi. I aedi. I hanum zanitanu chamoru. Niden shaku didatu gininazu us tata. Estiu a figma gihilu i biblia. Zani bandarahu i bandaran guahan. Sisu Osmasi, you may now all be seated. May we please begin with roll call? Repre oh, Representative On. Oh, Re Representative On here. Representative Atoigui. Representative Atoigui here. Representative Angui. Vice Speaker Cho, Vice Speaker Cho here. Representative Conception, okay. Representative Cruz, Representative Fortuno, Representative, Representative Fortuno present. Representative Galindez, Representative, Representative Galindez here. Representative Gale, Representative Hemlani, Representative Hemlani present. Representative Jolly. Representative Karasoma. Representative Karasoma present. Representative Laksamana. Representative Laksamana present. Representative Jayon Lee. Representative Lee present. Representative Noe Lee. Okay. Uh, Representative Mann. Representative Nguyen. Representative Paz. Representative Paz here. Representative Olandes. Representative Olandes here. Representative Pangalinen. Representative Chichicho. Representative Ramos. Representative Santos, Representative Santos present. Um, Representative, Representative Kiana Santos, okay. Representative Toe, Representative Whitaker, Representative Whitaker present. Representative Villa Soto, okay. uh, Speaker Vinch. Speaker Vinch present, and Representative Yang. Right. Representative Yang present. Madam Speaker, you have quorum. Representative Fortuno, your motion. Masi, Madam Speaker, I move to excuse members not present and voting for this session. There has been a motion to excuse members not present and voting for this session. Are there any objections? Hearing or seeing none, motion carries. With no items in section 789, the call for the approval of the legislative journal, communications, position, petitions, and messages are waived. And with no businesses in items 10 and 11, the reports of the standing our committees are waived. Thank you. And now, Representative Yang, your motion. I'm, thank you, Madam Speaker. I move to add resolution 33-34 LS onto the legislative agenda for today's session. Thank you. There's most been a motion to add resolution 33-34 LS onto today's session agenda. Are there any objections? Hearing or seeing none, motion carries. Representative Yang. Madam Speaker, I move to adopt today's amended legislative session agenda. There's been a motion to adopt today's amended legislative session agenda. Are there any objections? Hearing or seeing none, motion carries. Representative Fortuna, your motion. Sujus Masi, Madam Speaker, I move that all bills and resolutions on today's session agenda are deemed to have their first reading. Sujus Masi, there has been a motion to deem or to deem all bills and resolutions on today's session agenda to have their first reading. Are there any objections? 
Here is seeing none, motion carries. Representative Fortuno, you're once again recognized. Sajus Masi, Madam Speaker, I move to place bill number 16-34-COR into the second reading file for discussion. There has been a motion to place bill 16-34-COR into the second reading file for discussion. Are there any objections? Hearing or seeing none, motion carries. Representative Fortuno, you're welcome to introduce. Sajus Masi, Madam Speaker. Uh, bill number 16-34-COR is an act to amend section 2104, uh, subsection A of Article 1, Chapter 2, Title 5, Guam Code Annotated, relative to the addition of a youth member in the island-wide beatification task force. I stand before you today to introduce this bill, which will enhance youth engagement and provide representation in one of the more very meaningful government task forces that are tasked with, of course, beautifying and improving right, the overall outlook of our island. I am also pleased to inform this body that the Lieutenant Governor, uh, Joshua F. Tenorio, has expressed his full support for this measure, recognizing its importance in empowering our youth and strengthening our island community. As we all recognize, our island's natural and built environments are precious assets that require careful stewardship and preservation. This bill seeks to amplify the voices of our youth in this crucial effort to promote Guam as a strong, healthy community while maximizing our quality of life. The inclusion of a youth member in the IBTF is not merely symbolic. It signifies a commitment to fostering intergenerational collaboration and empowering our young leaders to contribute meaningfully to the decision-making process that shape our island's future. Youth leadership and representation in government boards and task forces are crucial for ensuring that policies and initiatives reflect the diverse perspectives and the needs of our population. By actively involving our youth in these processes, we not only strengthen our democracy, but also cultivate a new generation of informed and engaged citizens who are equipped to tackle the challenges of tomorrow. By amending Section 2104A of Article 1, Chapter 2, Title 5, GCA, this bill proposes the addition of a youth member from the Guam Youth Congress to the IBTF. This youth member will bring fresh perspectives, innovative ideas, and a deep sense of responsibility to the table, ensuring that the IBTF's initiatives are inclusive, sustainable, and reflective of the diverse needs of our community. Furthermore, Madam Speaker, by integrating youth perspectives into beautification efforts, we aim to instill in our youth a sense of environmental stewardship and civic responsibility from a very young age. This not only aligns with the IBTF's mission, but also cultivates a culture of volunteerism and community involvement among our youth. I am particularly proud to introduce this bill during Youth Month. It is a fitting tribute to our youth and the future leaders of our island. Moreover, this bill aligns perfectly with our ongoing efforts to empower our youth and ensure that their voices are heard in matters that affect them. I urge my, uh, my fellow uh, colleagues to support this bill, recognizing the invaluable contributions that our youth can make to the beautification and enhancement of our island's environment. Let us seize this opportunity to strengthen the bonds between government agencies and our youth and to build a more vibrant and resilient island community together. Thank you for your uh, attention and let us work hand in hand to ensure a brighter, more beautiful future for Guam and generations to come. Sisu Masi, Madam Speaker. Sisu Masi, Representative Fortuna, are there any members wishing to speak on this bill? Seeing or hearing none, Representative Fortuna, you are welcome to close. That was quick. <laughs> All right, uh, Sisus Masi, Madam Speaker, I move to place bill number 16-34-CUR into the third reading file for voting. There has been a motion to place bill 16-34-CUR into the third reading file for voting. Are there any objections? Hearing or seeing none, motion carries. Representative Leo, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I would like to make a motion to place resolution number 30-34-COR into the second reading file for discussion. 
Thank you. There has been a motion to place resolution 30-34 COR into the second reading file for discussion. Are there any objections? Hearing or seeing none, motion carries. You're welcome to introduce. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Resolution number 30-34 COR is introduced by Representative Noe Lee and myself, Jayon Lee. It is relative to recognizing and commending the Tumon Bay Youth Orchestra on their outstanding musical contributions and their talent and diligence towards showcasing musical virtuosity throughout the island of Guam and congratulating them on the opportunity to represent Guam at the Summa Cum Laude Music Festival in Vienna, Austria in July 2024. The Tumon Bay Youth Orchestra was founded in 2018 by Mr. Maximo Ronquillo Jr. to provide a venue for youth musicians who are 25 years old and under to perform a vast repertoire of music. The members of the Tumon Bay Youth Orchestra have musically contributed to their schools, the community of Guam and Micronesia, and the world with the main goal of providing a platform for youth musicians from various schools to build camaraderie through music. The orchestra has done an excellent job in showcasing musical virtuosity through contributions such as concerts and other performances. Their perseverance can be seen in long rehearsals, lasting up to three to four hours at a time in their pursuit of excellence in music, which I can personally attest to as a member of the orchestra. And in July 2024, the Tumon Bay Youth Orchestra will be representing Guam at the Summa Cum Laude Music Festival in Vienna, Austria. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any members wishing to speak on this resolution? Representative Otoigo, you are recognized. Um, I would just like to say that um, if you ever heard the Tumon Bay Orchestra, it's very beautiful. Um, and also that it's involving the youth, knowing that the youth is in, interested in the music and with the more and with more youth that are interested in music and any other, other things that will bring stuff to life, uh, it's very beautiful. Um, music is one thing that can be um, a very in, uh, in beautiful talent to um, in head, um, sorry is a beautiful talent to have while, while you're young and music can take you a very long way throughout your life so um, I really I'm going to stand in support of her resolution as well thank you Susie Osmasi are there any other members wishing to speak on this resolution Representative Fortino, you are recognized. Uh, Suzus Masi, Madam Speaker, and again, I just want to uh, use this opportunity to uh, echo the sentiments of support from Representative Atoigui and the great introduction, of course, from Representative Lee. Uh, you know, music is a very uh, uh, important uh, creative outlet for members of our youth to, of course, you know, in many ways get away from the books, uh, 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 hone their talents in something that can really take them as far away, as far out in competitions, as far as Vienna in Austria, right? And, you know, wanna, it's great that the Guam Youth Congress is using its capacity, it's, is, is using its, its mandate of, of commending individuals in our community who are representing our island on the global stage, on the international stage, in this case with the uh, awesome and great musicians that play for the Tumon Bay Youth Orchestra. I also just want to use this opportunity to also recognize and commend the Guam Philharmonic Orchestra Incorporated uh, for putting together the a recent uh, Tumon Bay Music Festival. Uh, it's a traditional event that, of course, uh, allows members uh, from across our schools, choirs, orchestras, et cetera, to come together and, of course, share their talents with the whole island. And uh, that recent uh, uh, festival, uh, gave way, of course, for, for many of our young musicians to share their talent with not just, of course, their peers, but, of course, with the public. So, again, I want to uh, commend uh, Representative Lee for, for introducing this resolution and uh, echo my statement of support for this passage. Sisters Masi, Madam Speaker. Sisters Masi, are there any other members wishing to speak on this resolution? Seeing or hearing none, you're welcome to close. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and thank you, Representative Atoyli and Representative Fortuno for speaking on this resolution in support. It is greatly appreciated. 
Um, and I would like to once again recognize and commend the Tumon Bay Youth Orchestra on their outstanding musical contributions, talent, diligence, and hard work, commitment to um, what they have accomplished and extend my warmest congratulations on the wonderful opportunity to uh, represent Guam at the Summa Cum Laude Music Festival in Vienna, Austria, and their chance to further expand their expertise in music. And also, as a member of the orchestra, I would like to personally thank um, and congratulate the Tumon Bay Youth Orchestra, um, the members, the resident conductor, Mr. Maximo Ronquillo Jr., and the parents and supporters on all of their amazing work and all they have accomplished to make this possible. I wish and hope for the best for whatever the future holds for TBYO. And now I would like to make a motion to move resolution number 30-34 COR to the third reading file for voting. Thank you, there has been a motion to place resolution number 30-34 COR into the third reading file for voting. Are there any objections? Hearing or seeing none, motion carries. Representative Vaughn, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I would like to make a motion to place resolution number 31-34 COR into the second reading file for discussion. Thank you, there has been a motion to place resolution 31-34 COR into the second reading file for discussion. Are there any objections? Hearing or seeing none, motion carries. Representative Vaughn, you are welcome to introduce. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Today, I would like to introduce resolution number 31-34 COR. On behalf of the youth of Guam, I would like to recognize and congratulate Catherine Jane Fair, an Air Force Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps Cadet at John F. Kennedy High School for being awarded the J-100 AFJRTC Character and Leadership Scholarship and express best wishes for impending journey at the United States Air Force Academy starting in June of this year. Alongside 100 other cadets from 31 different U.S. states and territories in six countries, Catherine Fair was awarded the J-100 AFJRTC Scholarship. This prestigious award is a full-ride scholarship to any university of her choice with an AFJRTC program in addition to the $10,000 yearly allowance for university-owned or on-campus housing, and an annual book stipend and monthly cadet stipend. Since the ninth grade, she has dedicated herself to her school's JROTC program, engaging in various extracurricular activities such as the Academic Challenge Bowl and Arm Drill Team, in which she's the only female and serving as the commander. Furthermore, her achievement, her achievement underscores her outstanding discipline as she balances a straight A average GPA despite the demands of rigorous APs and honors classes with intensive physical training. Her resiliency topped with unwavering support from the Cadet Corps and her family earned her an appointment to the United States Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs, where she will leave for basic cadet training in June. Again, on behalf of her youth, I commend Catherine Jane Fair for her positive impact on the youth of Guam through her commitment and discipline. She, she is an inspiration to her peers, and she wants her peers to aim high and strive for excellence. Thank you. Cecilia Smalasi, are there any members wishing to speak on this resolution? Representative Cho, you are recognized. Um, I would like to express my support in congratulating Catherine as she is a close friend of mine. I know how hard she has worked throughout her entire high school years and you inspire everybody on Guam to aim high and that things like this are actually possible. You deserve it and congratulations. Suzu Smalasi, Vice Speaker Cho, are there any other members wishing to speak on this resolution? Hearing or seeing none, Representative Anya, you're welcome to close. Thank you. Thank you, Rep Thank you, Vice Speaker Cho, for your support. And as a fellow JRTC cadet and as her friend, she inspires me to believe in myself and continue reaching for the best. I will be rooting for her success as she begins her basic cadet training at the Air Force Academy in June. 
Now I would like to make a motion to move resolution number 31-34 COR to the second to the third reading file for voting. Thank you. Susan Mahasi, there has been a motion to place resolution or move resolution number 31-34 COR into the third reading file for voting. Are there any objections? Hearing or seeing none, motion carries. Representative Fortuna, you are now recognized. Susan Mahasi, Madam Speaker, I move to uh, uh, place resolution number 32-34 COR into the second reading file for discussion. Susan Osmasi, there has been a motion to place resolution 32-34 COR into the second reading file for discussion. Are there any objections? Hearing or seeing none, motion carries. Representative Fortuno, you are welcome to introduce. Susan Osmasi, Madam Speaker, I rise today alongside my esteemed colleague, uh, Representative Aaron Irina Kirchho, uh, the representative from the Guam Community College, to introduce resolution number 32-34 COR relative to recognizing the celebration of Community College Month during the month of April 2024 as a time to celebrate the importance and value of community colleges in fostering academic excellence, workforce development, and lifelong learning, and commending the Guam Community College and its students, alumni, faculty, staff, and administration for its commitment to providing educational opportunities that empower students to achieve their academic and career goals, contributing to the overall prosperity and well-being of our island community. This resolution holds significant importance for our youth as it aims to recognize the celebration of Community College Month during the month of April 2024. This month serves as a time to honor the invaluable contributions of community colleges in fostering, of course, academic excellence and workforce development. Community colleges play a vital role in providing accessible and affordable higher education opportunities to diverse populations, including those from various demographics and socioeconomic backgrounds. They serve as gateways to higher education, offering pathways to bachelor's, master's, and higher level degrees for countless students. Despite persistent stigmas, research consistently demonstrates widespread recognition and appreciation for the value and efficiency of community colleges. As Guam's only public community college established in 1977 by public law 14-77, Guam Community College, or GCC, plays a crucial role in our educational landscape. GCC has earned a stellar reputation for providing quality career and technical education programs, offering bachelor's degrees, associate degrees, and certificates, as well as apprenticeship programs in collaboration with over 100 island employers. Moreover, GCC actively, actively contributes to our island community by offering educational programs in public high schools and maintaining high academic standards through accreditation. Now, throughout the month of April, GCC intends to launch campaigns spotlighting its contributions to our island, emphasizing the diverse skills attainable at GCC and showcasing successful uh, alumni from Guam. The theme of the 2024 college, Community College Month campaign, Cultivating Skills for the Future, underscores the visionary nature of our community colleges and their critical role in meeting the demands of our skills-based economy. As the chairperson of the Committee on Education and Youth Affairs, I urge my fellow members to support resolution number 32-34 COR, co-sponsored by uh, my fellow representative, Irina Kijicho from GCC and myself. And to join us in recognizing the importance of Community College Month, let us commend GCC, its students, alumni, faculty, staff, and administration for their dedication in providing educational opportunities that empower individuals to achieve their academic and career goals. In addition to community colleges, I also recognize the University of Guam as another important institution in our pursuit of higher education excellence. Together, both of these institutions form the backbone of our island's educational system, preparing our youth for success and contributing to the advancement of our island society. Sidhu uh, Smasi, Madam Speaker. Sidhu Smasi, are there any other members wishing to speak on this resolution? Representative Karasoma, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, first, I would like to commend the sponsors of this resolution. I feel like it is so important to recognize such exemplary educational institutions like GCC. I know that for the longest time, there had been some stigma around attending a community college, but people tend to shy away from realizing that community colleges such, such as GCC are still amazing and exceptional schools. If you really take your time to 
look into the various programs that GCC offers, not only just to college students, but high school students as well, you'd find such great opportunities. So again, I commend Representative Fortuno and Representative Kichicho for recognizing the significance that community colleges hold in our community. Thank you. Susan Smalsi, are there any other members wishing to speak on this resolution? Seeing or hearing none, Representative Fortuno, you are welcome to close. Uh, Susan Smalsi, Madam Speaker, before closing, uh, I would like to make a motion to include all representatives uh, as co-sponsors to the resolution. There's been a motion to include all GYC members as co-sponsors on this resolution. Are there any objections? Seeing or hearing none, motion carries. To do this modestly, Madam Speaker, and again, I just made that motion to, of course, allow the whole body, right, to echo its support for higher education institutions like GCC, especially as they celebrate Community College Month this month. Uh, with that, I move to place resolution number 32-34 COR into the third reading file for voting. Suzu Smasi, there's been a motion to place resolution number 32-34 COR to the third reading file for voting. Are there any objections? Hanger seeing none, motion carries. We'll now take a short recess before the next agenda item. Thank you.
The 34th Guam Youth Congress is now back from recess. Speaker Vince, you are recognized. Suzuus Masi, I would like to make a motion to place resolution 33-34 LS into the second reading file for discussion. There has been a motion to place resolution number 33-34 LS into a second reading file for discussion. Are there any objections? Seeing none, motion carries. Speaker Vince, you are recognized. Suzu Smasi, Vice Speaker Cho. The youth is commonly referred to as the future of tomorrow, and Youth Month recognizes that and the effort and dedication that we give to building a brighter future. But something that is equally important is the people who make it possible by leading us today, and that's what this resolution aims to recognize. They are the ones who give us the responsibility and the opportunity to have organizations like the Guam Youth Congress that form the next leaders to take their place. This includes, but is not limited to, our governor of Guam, our oversight chair, Senator Amanda Shelton, and the continued support we gain from organizations like the Department of Youth Affairs, the chairpersons who allow our bills to have these public hearings, and of all the people who have supported our efforts and our hard work to make a better future. It wouldn't be possible without them. We look at people who come out of organizations like the Guam Youth Congress and their work is inspiring. We see people like Stephanie Lorenzo, a former Guam Youth Congress speaker who has led events now this year like the DYA's oratorical contest that's shaping the future leaders and getting us all involved in Island Leadership Day, which just gives us more opportunities than ever to spread what Guam Youth Congress is about and empower other students, our peers, our age, to go ahead and take a step forward to make a change. And events like that help us meet new people, make new connections, and really foster this new environment that is meant for growth, meant for growth of a better future. And this isn't limited to the Guam Youth Congress itself. We can see this power lying in all the youth. We have councils like the Governor's Youth Advisory Council that we work with, the Peace Councils who we have the representatives on, and all the students and student government associations that we work hand in hand with to make change they want to see. All of us are inspiring to do better in the future, and all of us inspire other people to do better for the future. But the ones who inspire us are the leaders today. And so this is a big thank you and a big shout out to them for making that possible. And that's what this resolution aims to do. Suzu Masi. Thank you. Representative Fortuno, you are recognized. Uh, Suzu Masi, uh, Madam Speaker, it is with great enthusiasm, right, as the chairperson of the Committee on Education and Youth Affairs that I stand before you today as one of the co-sponsors of resolution number 33-34 to recognize the month of April as Youth Month. This resolution really underscores the invaluable contributions and the exemplary commitment of Guam's youth and the many organizations that exist on our island today. It is a testament to the tireless efforts of numerous organizations, advocates, and service providers who champion the youth as their mission and their objective. It is important to note that really, our youth, Iman, Hope, and Guahan, are the heartbeat of our island community, and their contributions are truly immeasurable. They play an integral role in fostering economic prosperity, cultivating a culture of respect, and nurturing commitment to excellence, especially as we move forward towards the future. They are the future leaders of tomorrow, and it is essential that we honor and celebrate their achievements, aspirations, and potentials. I would like to take this opportunity to note the many activities that went on uh, throughout the month of April uh, to empower youth organizations and empower many uh, individuals in our community as we celebrate Youth Month, uh, much of which were, of course, organized by the Department of Youth Affairs in collaboration with, of course, the Guam Youth Congress, led by Speaker Vinch, and the Governor's Youth Advisory Council. Uh, if you recall, we had the oratorical contest that occurred in this very hall that we stand in right now. Uh, we have the Island Leadership Day that is coming up that will allow, of course, um, student leaders across the country, youth leaders, not the country, the island, youth leaders across the island to take the helm of being one of our leaders for today. And of course, the other, many other uh, 
contests are organized by many various organizations, one of which is the Guam Council on the Arts and Humanities Agency's Elementary Art Contests. Uh, but all activities that intend to, of course, celebrate right, the contributions of the, the, the youth of our island. I want to take this opportunity to, of course, give a huge shout out to my constituency, right, the Tritons of the University of Guam. And of course, I, I implore my fellow representatives to, of course, give way to recognizing right, their constituents that compose really Iman Hope and Guahan. I urge my fellow reps to support this resolution in recognizing April as Youth Month and in honoring and celebrating the contributions of our youth and our commitment right, as members of the Guam Youth Congress to support them, to provide them the resources that they need, the opportunities that they need in order to thrive and succeed and become the next generation of Guamanians. Situs Mahasi, Madam Speaker. Thank you. Representative Luxama, you are now recognized. Thank you, Vice Speaker Cho. Um, I just wanted to be brief and show my support for Resolution 33-34 LS and thank all the organizations who encourage and cultivate the potential of my peers and the youth in general by providing us the opportunity to be involved in the process and give us and allow us to give us the input in the issues and the things that matter the most to us. We're grateful as we're aware that many of these opportunities weren't given to the older generations back then. And since then, we have come a long way that helps us contribute back to our island. Thank you once again, and Biba Manhoven. Representative Yang, you are now recognized. Um, thank you, uh, Speaker, and I would just like to um, really agree on the resolution. And it is almost halfway through April, and and almost oh, almost at the end of the semester. And I would just like to encourage the youth to continue in their academics, and to and they are very helpful in bringing more ideas to the island of Guam. Thank you. Thank you. Representative Galendez, you are now recognized. Thank you. Um, I would also like to rise in support of this resolution. I feel like by recognizing April as Youth Month, it really gives the youth the opportunity to um, emphasize and showcase that we have a mission, we have the power to make these decisions as the uh, leaders of the future. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Mr. Ty Whitaker, you are now recognized. Thank you. I would like to rise in support of this resolution as well and give a special thanks to all the individuals and organizations who provide a path for the youth of Guam to share their voice, perspectives, and talents. Thank you. Representative Atogri, you are now recognized. I'd like to commend all the people who contributed to Island Youth Leadership Month and to the youth of our island with, and to the youth of our island and to all the various of organizations that are out there that are involving the youth to go out and be out in the community to serve and to have fun. Uh, I would like to also give kudos to the student governments and any organizations that are in school that involve the youth. As, they, as, we, as the youth leaders, we serve the youth and to make a bright and strong future for them. With all the programs such as Youth Leadership Month, we, it's a day to involve the youth in the government units and the law enforcement units. I would like to all, I would like to say again um I'm ri I rise in support of this resolution. Sizu Smasi. Sizu Smasi, Representative Kurosoma, you are now recognized. Thank you. Thank you Madam Speaker. Um I stand in support of this resolution as we are 
ourselves are the youth advocating for a better community, environment, a better Guam. And so it is so important to acknowledge the people that help enable our potential and dedication and to all the numerous organizations that help embrace April as Youth Month. Just know that your hard work does not go unnoticed and it is deeply appreciated. And to our island's youth as well for your hard work and dedication to bettering our island it is tremendously applauded and valued. Um, shout out to the youth of Guahan Academy Charter School. Just recently, I believe about 50 to 60 of our high schoolers submitted entries into the Right to Democracy art competition that expands throughout all the U.S. territories, which two of our students ended up securing the second and third place of the whole competition. As well, shout out to the National English Honor Society members as their publications will be coming out very soon on the nationwide NEHS newsletter. Thank you. Sisu's Maasi, Representative Santos, you are now recognized. We would also like to express our support for Resolution 3334 LS. Liz, Liz and I were in the audience at this year's oratorical contest and a very inspiring speeches were given by Ava Dunka of Academy of Our Lady Guam and Molly Dele De La Cruz of Santa Barbara. As Lieutenant Governor stated yesterday's conference of violence sustainability, would it, would, witnessing that the youth is doing right now is giving our current leaders a sense of renewable and hope for the future. So these two girls have set a great impression for our island youth leadership month, but it isn't only these two girls who we want to recognize. We want to highlight every single youth on Guam who tirelessly works to bridge the gap between the voices of the youth and the quote unquote adults of our island, giving fresh perspectives from under, underrepresented groups and professional settings. As a student leader myself, balancing academics and the duty of dedicating ourselves to serving the island is a challenge in itself. And if we could name every single youth leader who has done great things for our island, this message would never end. So this goes out to every single student on Guam who is using these platforms for the betterment of our island. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Santos and Representative Hamlani. Um, Representative Olindez, you are now recognized. Thank you, Madam Vice Speaker. I rise in support of this resolution, along with cultivating a culture of respect among the youth. Youth Month, to me, means that the youth of Guam are recognized and are heard. Both my partner from Ukuru High School, Cody Angui, and I ran for Youth Congress because there was an opportunity to make a difference with the responsibilities given to us. Moreover, I also want to recognize every one of our youth who take initiative in leading others, no matter the size of the role whether it be in a club or council in your school, because that is where it starts for a lot of us. I want to say great job to all of you for all that you do and to my fellow GYC members. Thank you. Thank you. Representative Ahn, you are now recognized. Thank you, Vice Speaker Cho. And I'm in full support of this resolution because as we open and celebrate Youth Month, thank you to all organizations out there for providing this platform to share our voices and allowing us to shape our future and drive positive change. In fact, last week, Youth Congress helped DYA host the annual oratorical contest in which I had the amazing privilege of competing. Listening to everyone's different perspectives on the power of diversity was very encouraging and inspiring. And I come from Southern High School, which many people do look down on because of the issues that plague our reputation. But it is my passion to put our school back on the map and inspire my peers to realize that one voice can make a difference in the classroom, the school, and the community. And I wanna make a shout out to all my fellow leaders at Southern High School for sharing this passion. Thank you. Suzu's Maasi, Representative Lee, you are now recognized. Thank you, Vice Speaker Cho. I would like to also rise in support of this resolution and commend Representative Binch, Representative Cho, Representative Loxamana, and Representative Fortuno for introducing this resolution. 
I'm happy uh, to hear of the recognition of the month of April as Youth Month because I also believe recognizing the youth and empowering the youth is important. And it's so true that youth and Guam's youth play an integral role in fostering economic prosperity, cultivating a culture of respect, nurturing commitment, and more. Um, also, as a student of Harvest Christian Academy, I would like to give a big shout out to the amazing youth at Harvest. Students in the past and present, they've done a wonderful job in achieving successful goals, empowering one another, and going on to have essential roles in society. Thank you. Seduce Masi, Representative Lee. Uh, last but not least, of course, Vice Speaker Cho, you are recognized. Sizu's Ma'asi, Representative Fortuno. I want to express my wholehearted support in recognizing the month of April as Youth Month on Guam. This resolution presents a remarkable opportunity for us to celebrate and acknowledge the invaluable contributions and exemplary commitment of Guam's youth who are the very essence of our future. The youth of Guam embody the spirit of resilience, innovation, and hope. Our energy, passion, and dedication are driving forces that propel our island towards a brighter future. By dedicating a month to celebrate the achievements and the potential, we are not only honoring their individual endeavors, but also collectively affirming our commitment to nurturing and empowering the leaders of tomorrow. Moreover, I believe it's crucial to extend our gratitude and appreciation to the numerous organizations, advocates, and service providers who tirelessly work to uplift and support our youth. Thank you for recognizing our potential and giving us the opportunity to succeed. I want to especially thank all the admin and staff of John F. Kennedy High School for their unwavering dedication to mentoring, guiding, and providing opportunities for the youth of JFK. Thank you very much. Suzuki Masi, Vice Speaker Cho, and with no one else left to speak, I will now give uh, the floor to uh, Speaker Vinch for her closing. Suzuki Masi, and thank you to everyone who stood up and spoke and gave their shout outs because that means just as, month, uh, just as much as a resolution does because it's all of us recognizing the power that the youth at our schools and our community hold. And so thank you for that. And just as Representative Santos said, if we named all the youth leaders that were powerful and were making great change, it would go on forever. We would never stop talking and the change that we would talk about could never stop because what the youth does for Guam is really incredible. And that is empowered by the people who allow us to make this change. So thank you for all those who rose in support um, because the youth have endured and we have inspired and we're gonna continue to do so and continue to pay that path. And the change that we're making, it's possible because of you guys in this room and the ones that let us make that happen. So Suzuki Masi, and with that, I would like to make the motion to place resolution 33-34 LS into the third reading file for voting. Suzuki Masi, Speaker Vinch, there has been a motion to move resolution number 33-34 LS to the third reading file for voting. Are there any objections? Seeing or hearing none, the motion is carried. We are going to be on a short recess before we start the voting file. Situs Masi.
The 34th Guam Youth Congress is now back from recess. At this time, I would like to call for a second roll call, please. Okay. I will now start second roll call. All members, please raise your hand if you're here. Representative On. Representative On present. Representative Atoigui. Representative Atoigui present. Representative Angui. Vice Speaker Cho. Vice Speaker Cho present. Representative Conception. Representative Cruz. Representative Fortuno. Representative Fortuno present. Representative Galindez. Representative Galindez present. Representative Gale. Representative Hemlani. Representative Hemlani present. Representative Jolly. Representative Karasoma. Representative Karasoma present. Representative Laksamana. Representative Laksamana present. Representative Jayon Lee. Representative Jayon Lee present. Representative Noe Lee. Representative Mann. Representative Nguyen. Representative Paz present. Representative Paz present. Representative Olandez. Representative Olandez present. Representative Pangalinen. Representative Chichicho. Representative Ramos. Representative Kiana Santos. Representative Lysa Santos. Representative Santos present. Representative Toe. Representative Whitaker. Representative Whitaker present. Representative Villa Soto. Speaker Vinch. Speaker Vinch present. And Representative Yang. Representative Yang present. Madam Speaker, with 15 members present, you still have quorum. Suzu Ma'asi, we are now on item 19 of the legislative session agenda for the voting file. Recording Secretary, uh, please read Title IV, Bill 16-34, COR. Bill 16-34, COR, introduced by Representative Austin Fortuno, an act to amend subsection 2104A of Article 1, Chapter 2, Title V, Guam Code Annotated, relative to the addition of a youth member in the island-wide beautification task force. This is Lewis Mosley. Roll call with votes, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll now start the voting. Please say either aye or nay. Okay. Representative on. Representative on, yes. Representative Atoigui. Representative Atoigui, yes. Rep uh, Vice Speaker Cho. Vice Speaker Cho, yes. Representative Fortuno. Representative Fortuno, yes. Representative Galindez. Representative Galindez, yes. Representative Hemlani. Representative Hemlani, yes. Representative Karasono, Karasoma. Representative Karasoma, yes. Representative Laksamana. Representative Laksamana, yes. Representative Jayon Lee. Representative Jayon Lee, yes. Uh, Representative Paz, yes. Representative Paz, yes. Okay. Representative Olandez. Representative Olandez, yes. And then Representative Lysa Santos. Representative Santos, yes. Representative Whitaker. Representative Whitaker, yes. Uh, Speaker Vinch. Yes. Speaker Vinch, yes. And Representative Yang. Rep Representative Yang, yes. Yeah, good. Bill 16-34 COR received 15 ayes with zero nays. Bill 16-34 CR COR hereby passes by this body. Congratulations, and now please read the Title IV Resolution 30-34 COR. Okay. 
Resolution 30-34COR, introduced by Representatives Noe Lee and Jayon Lee, relative to recognizing and commending the Tumon Bay Youth Orchestra on their outstanding musical contributions and their talent and diligence towards showcasing musical virtuosity throughout the island of Guam, and congratulating them on the opportunity to represent Guam at the Summa Cum Laude Fe Music Festival in Vienna, Austria in July 2024. Susan Osmasi, roll call with votes, please. Representative on. Representative on, yes. Representative Atoigui. Representative Atoigui, yes. Vice Speaker Cho. Vice Speaker Cho, yes. Representative Fortuno. Representative Fortuno, yes. Representative Galindez. Representative Galindez, yes. One second. Representative Hemlani. Representative Hemlani, yes. Representative Karasoma. Representative Representative Karasoma, yes. Representative Laksamana. Representative Laksamana, yes. Representative Jayon Lee. Representative Lee, yes. Representative Paz, yes. Representative Paz, yes. Representative Olandas. Representative Olandas, yes. Representative Santos. Representative Santos, yes. Representative Whitaker. Representative Whitaker, yes. Speaker Vinch. Speaker Vinch, yes. And Representative Yang. Representative Yang, uh, yes. Resolution 30-34 COR has received 15 ayes with zero nays. Resolution 30-34 COR hereby passes by this body. Can we please now read the title for Resolution 31-34 COR? Resolution 31-34 COR introduced by Representative Cheyong An relative to recognizing and congratulating Catherine Jane Ferrer and Air Force Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps, or AFJROTC cadet, at the John F. Kennedy High School for being the, awarded the J-100 AFJROTC Character in Leadership Scholarship and expressing best wishes for her impending journey at the United States Air Force Academy starting in June of 2024. Suzu Osmasi, roll call of votes, please. Representative on, Representative on I, or yes. Representative Atoigui, Representative Atoigui, yes. Vice Speaker Cho, Vice Speaker Cho, yes. Representative Fortuno, Representative Fortuno, yes. Representative Galindez, Representative Galindez, yes. Representative Hemlani. Representative Hemlani, yes. Representative Kirasoma. Representative Kirasoma, yes. Representative Laksamana. Representative Laksamana, yes. Representative Lee. Representative Lee, yes. Representative Paz, yes. Representative Paz, yes. Representative Olandas. Representative Olandas, yes. Representative Santos. Representative Santos, yes. Representative Whitaker. Representative Whitaker, yes. Speaker Vinch. Speaker Vinch, yes. And Representative Yang. Representative Yang, yes. Suzo Smasi, resolution 31 34 COR has received 15 ayes with zero nays. Resolution 31-34 COR hereby passes by this body. Congratulations, and now can we please read the title for Resolution 32-34 COR. Resolution 32-34 COR introduced by Representatives Austin Fortuno and Arena Chichicho 
and co-sponsored by all present GYC members relative to recognizing the celebration of Community College Month during the month of April 2024 as a time to celebrate the importance and value of community colleges in fostering academic excellence, workforce development, and lifelong learning, and commending the Guam Community College and its students, alumni, faculty, staff, and administration for its commitment to providing educational opportunities that empower students to achieve their academic and career goals, contributing to the overall prosperity and well-being of our island community. Sisters Maasi, may we please do votes with roll call? Thank you. Representative On. Representative On, yes. Representative Atoigui. Aye. Representative Atoigui, yes. Vice Speaker Cho. Vice Speaker Cho, yes. Representative Fortuno. Representative Fortuno, yes. Representative Galindez. Representative Galindez, yes. Representative Hemlani. Representative Hemlani, yes. Representative Kirasoma. Representative Kirasoma, yes. Representative Laksamana. Representative Laksamana, yes. Representative Lee. Representative Lee, yes. Representative Paz, yes. Representative Paz, yes. Representative Olandas. Representative Olandas, yes. Representative Santos. Representative Santos, yes. Representative Whitaker. Representative Whitaker, yes. Speaker Vinch. Speaker Vinch, yes. And Representative Yang. Representative Yang, yes. Sizuos Masi, Rep Resolution 32-34 COR has received 15 ayes with zero nays. Resolution 32-34 COR hereby passes by this body. Congratulations. Please read the title for Resolution 33-34 LS. Resolution 33-34 LS, introduced by Speaker Vinch, relative to recognizing the month of April as Youth Month and affirming the invaluable contributions and exemplary commitment of Guam's youth and honoring and acknowledging the numerous organizations, advocates, and service providers that promote the youth as their mission and assist them to be the future leaders of tomorrow. Suzuos Maasi, may we please do roll call votes? Representative Ahn. Representative Ahn, yes. Representative Atoigui. Representative Atoigui, yes. Vice Speaker Cho. Vice Speaker Cho, yes. Representative Fortuno. Representative Fortuno, yes. Representative Galindez. Representative Galindez, yes. Representative Hemlani. Representative Hemlani, yes. Representative Kirasoma. Representative Kirasoma, yes. Representative Laksamana. Representative Laksamana, yes. Representative Lee. Representative Lee, yes. Representative Paz, yes. Representative Paz, yes. Representative Olandas. Representative Olandas, yes. Representative Santos. Representative Santos, yes. Representative Whitaker. Representative Whitaker, yes. Speaker Vinch. Speaker Vinch, yes. And Representative Yang. Representative Yang, yes. This is Mawasi, Resolution 33-34 LS has received 15 ayes with zero nays. Resolution 33-34 LS hereby passes by this body. And now back onto legislative agenda item 19 for brief extensions of remarks. Would any representatives like to speak? With no remarks, moving on to announcements. Does anyone have any announcements to share? Representative Galindas, you are recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, today at 11.30 in the Guam Congress building, there will be a resolution presentation for Resolution 22-34 COR, 
relative to recognizing and congratulating Okadoo High School and Notre Dame High School for winning first place in the large school division and small school division respectively in the 2023 Toys for Tots High School Challenge. Thank you. Susan Osmosi, any other results to share? Representative Karisoma, you're recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, today at 12 o'clock, there will also be a resolution presentation for for resolution 24-34 relative to commending and recognizing Guahan Academy's National English Honor Society. So we welcome all representatives to attend. Thank you. Suzu Osmasi, would any representative have any other announcements to share? Representative Whitaker, you're welcome. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I would like to announce that a bill passed by this body, now Bill 198-37, an act to amend Article 3116 of Chapter 3, Title 16, Guam Code Annotated relative to requiring the dis distribution of driver's handbooks to Guam Public High Schools has been added to the agenda for April session. Thank you. Great, thank you, Representative Whitaker. Are there any other announcements willing to be shared? Seeing or hearing none, Representative Fortuno, you are recognized. Uh, Suez Masi, Madam Speaker, at this time, I move to, or I'd like to make a motion to adjourn the session subject to the call of the speaker. Suzus Maasi, there has been a motion to adjourn subject to the call of the speaker. Are there any objections? Hearing or seeing none, motion carries. We are adjourned. <laughs>